Good morning and welcome, Holy Spirit Parish. Today we celebrate Thursday of week one of Lent. Thank you for joining us in prayer and delving deep in this season. Morning prayer will begin in just a moment. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. Awake, lyre and harp, with praise let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, and I wake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. Awake, awake liar and harp, with, with praise, praise let, let us awake, awake the, the dawn. dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant coasts, and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the land of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the house of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. They find that they themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and the young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, people says the Lord, Lord, will be filled with my blessings. blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king city, God, in the midst of its citadels, has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. Dismay they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen. In the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O oh God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice, your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sound of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, 
The body of your risen Son is a temple not made by human hands, and the defending wall of the new Jerusalem. May this holy city, built of living stones, shine with spiritual radiance and witness your greatness in the sight of all the nations. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. We are your people and your inheritance. Thus may your eyes be open to the petition of your servant and to the petition of your people, Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart from all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. From those who would trap me with lying words. And from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. If you, evil as you are, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven pour out his gifts on all who pay him, pray to him? Blessed be, be the Lord, the God, the God of Israel. Israel. He, has he has come, come to, to his people and set them free. He has raised, raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his, his holy prophets he promised of old that he would, he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised, he promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. The tender compassion of our God the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. If you, evil as you are, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven pour out his gifts on all who pray to him? Christ our Lord came among us as the light of the world, that we might walk in his light and not in the darkness of death. Let us praise him and cry out to him. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. God of mercy, help us today to grow in your holiness. That we who sinned in Adam may rise again in Christ. Let your word be a lamp to guide us. That we may live the truth and grow always in your love. Teach us to be faithful in seeking the common good for your sake. That your light might shine on those of the whole human family by means of your church. Touch our hearts to seek your friendship more and more. And to make amends for our sins against your wisdom and goodness. Gathering these prayers and those held in our hearts, we offer the prayer that Jesus Christ has given us. Our Father, Father who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, a spirit always pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. Since without you cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.